My goodness, guys, what an emphatic victory we had, not only over Mum, but Mum's heart. I think we're ready for another round. Who's with me, guys? Let's do this. Oh, hey, this is a different thing. We've got the Curse of the Labyrinth, which pretty much... Ooh, hello, Mac. That's weird. Don't know why it's showing sticky things like that. Uh, let me try and sort this out. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Always something... One thing has to go wrong with this video. Every freaking time. Other than my skills in this game, we also have technical difficulties. Ooh, that one's just a bit harsh. Okay, but pretty much, Curse of the Labyrinth is... If you see on the top... Um, the top left. Um, it's kind of all greyed out. Um, actually, no, no, I'm thinking of, I've got the wrong thing. Uh, Curse of the Labyrinth uh, is that we've just got extra amount of panels. But this could always be good, because I like finding goodies in this place. I don't know about you guys. We've got a half heart, so we're back at full health. <laughs> half heart. I like my LP efforts. Uh, I don't know why I got it at the fire there, because the fire actually damages him. Oh well. Right, let's try and get rid of the jumping guys first. These guys are a bit of a pain. And um, what I like about Curse of Labyrinth sometimes, it gets a bit tedious most of the time, but you always have the option to earn more goodies, like such as this key, which is great. But the one negative aspect of it is that all the treasure rooms are automatically locked, but, like I said, it gives you more uh, a tendency to get more keys. Okay, what do we have here? Homing bombs, great. Something I don't really use. I barely use the bombs enough as it is, but it has gratuitously given me five. So uh, I'll put this one to good use. See what I can get. Sometimes the little rock can just come out of literally the rocks. Um, ooh, I've never seen that one before. That's quite cool. You know, I'm going to pick it up right now. Hey, a dime. I don't know American currency. Currency. But I think, believe that gave me 10 pennies, which is great. Cents, or whatever you want to call this currency in this game. Well, okay. Seems like the game's taunting me. Oh well. Oh, and another tendency with the Curse of the Labyrinth is that it usually gives you two bosses. So that should make for some interesting viewing. So, uh, without further ado, let's um, press on. Okay. Oh, this guy's a too big problem. Almost walking in front of his beam there, like an idiot. Um, nah, the one pins aren't really worth it. The bomb to penny ratio was not really worth it. Excellent, I like how we just stood in front of that bomb there. That's handy. And you see, we've got another treasure room now, but the one problem is we don't have another key. Um, so I'm hoping this room's fairly kind to me. Oh, drop me a bomb. Eh. Eh. Can't really complain. I've got plenty more opportunities. I'll be a bit miffed. We, that was the final room I had to explore. I'm a bit of a completionist. I mean, at the start of the game... Ooh, hey, I don't know what these do. Um, at the start of the game, I like to explore every room, because honestly, the more power-ups I can pick up early on, uh, the better. Ah, how lovely game. Thank you. Obviously heard me whinging before. Speedball! <laughs> Look how happy he looks. It's like one of those anime faces, which I don't really watch. But I can see the reference. Or this is probably the result of take up the speed. Um, not that I promote drug use. Uh, these rooms can be a bit of a pain. Oh, jeez. Right. I can negotiate myself out of that pretty swiftly. Taylor swiftly. Just one of these rooms again. Okay. Pretty much just uh, giving away this guy. Oh god. Didn't know that kind of went diving now. It's kind of cool. Right. Again, one, two pennies. Not not really worth a bomb. Almost thought I had to use a bomb there. Didn't see that. Oh man, the game is just throwing money at me. I feel like some sort of really cheap stripper. Ooh, and another thing, if you may not notice yet, I'm sure you eagle eyed viewers may have done already. But the Curse of the Labyrinth, if you look in the bottom left, it says basement, extra large. Oh yes. Which is a fairly, um... Which is a fairly fitting name for it. Okay, 
Let's see if we can find a boss room by now, because I don't think there'll be many more treasure rooms at this point in time. Fairly happy with one of these power ups we've got, though, actually, so, um. Uh, see, but then the, the completionist in me has to check. I'm really sorry, guys. It's not that far, if you think about it. I'm gonna avoid that room. Don't really like to use the arcade. Uh, not the arcade, the merchant, or vendor, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna guess it's just gonna lead me to, um, well, disappointment more than anything. But you never know. It could be another treasure room. I am all about the treasure. And the viewers, don't get me wrong. If you guys enjoy my videos, don't hesitate to let me know. Oh, okay. It's Envy. Oh, buddy old pal. So we do have an opportunity to get an item here. You never know. But he's, ne he's not really too difficult. I'm sure we've, we've faced him many a time. If you just segregate and just go for the little ones first, he's nearly from the tool. Obviously, try not to get the other ones because the first mistake you make, the first mistake I always found myself making was that uh, I tried to just destroy all the biggest ones first. But to be honest, it's probably not the best thing to do because it actually makes your life, you know, your, your Isaac experience that much harder. So if you bear with me just a sec, guys. Obviously, we fought many variations of these bosses before, as in a la the uh, Apollo. Um, I believe the husk, I believe. Oh, no, I get their names mixed up. But luckily enough, we do have that speed power. We are all free. See, this is where it gets troublesome. If you get, if you take out all the large ones first, and you're left with only the little baby ones, you're gonna have a bad time. Luckily enough, come on, there we go, buddy. Oop. Well. A bomb for our troubles isn't too too bad, really. We've had worse. Okay. So now, on our way to potentially face a couple of bosses, who knows? And also, 18 coins, 7 bombs and 2 keys. I think we are doing just fine. Okay, right. Sorry about the slightly long trek. I'd like to think it was worth it. Hope you guys agree. But then again, you guys don't really get much of a choice because this is all done in the past, so deal with it, broskies. And again, this is another similar one um, about the attack patterns uh, of uh, Envy. I think all the Duke does is uh, pulling, I mean, bounce off the walls and all the rocks and stuff. And uh, as I told you guys, we do have another boss room. If you look to the top there, I mean, the health bar kind of obscures it. But, yep, that is what you think it is. And let's put one of the timing bombs for the test. Okay, it didn't actually do its job. Okay, the Duke of Flies can be a bit of a nuisance, but when you're facing the first time, it's not usually that tough. You just. If you can get him before we start spawning loads of flies, you're gonna have a good time. But always keep an eye. Keep one eye on him, one eye on the flies. Start playing them, guys. So, there we go. Let me just pull this up. Unfortunately, our tears aren't too powerful, but we do have speed to make up for it. And uh, another bit of health. So, without further ado, guys, we. I mean, I don't really like this guy. He's only hard at first. The more you wear him down, the easier... Oof, God, almost ran into him. And he actually gets a bit in the way when he starts spawning enemies. Because he doesn't have projectiles. Oh, God. <laughs> but he kills his enemies. Great. Friendly fire. I love it. I like that he starts screaming when he's a bit too far away. Oh, jeez. Ran into that one. I have a habit for that. Oh, he took out one of them. Jeez, come on, game. I mean, come on, me, even. Can't put my shortcomings down to the game. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
keep my distance. Will only be him shooting me. Okay. Just bear with me, guys. Concentrating here. There we go. And now, kill his lackey. And as always, when you defeat him, you get a cube of meat, which I soon believe becomes a super meat boy after um, you kill more of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, of course. Okay, so good progress being made, guys. I'm proud. Of, I'm proud of myself. I hope you're proud of me too. Oh, I don't really like the rooms like this. I'm a bit of a pain. So I'm gonna get rid of some of these uh, chocolate ice creams with corn in them. And um, I know you guys have said in the comments before um, my audio keeps getting drowned out. I've um, hopefully fixed this in the post now. Um, yeah, my bad, guys. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you guys to miss out on my delightful caramel commentary. And um, obviously my great gameplay skills will hopefully make up for it. Oops. to take these guys out one by one because like I mentioned before even the f oh, hey looks good even the um what's it uh, fire I can tell you and no thanks buddy I like me my yum tar that's my guns and I'm sticking to them um go. Oh, that's called using your resources, kiddies. Thanks, guys. But I am absolutely chocolate locked on health. Fine, okay. Let's make a mental note of that, as well as a note of it on our uh, good old um, radar. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ah, oh, see, those flies are invincible. Wow, why are they throwing coins at me so much? It's almost like they want me to spend but um, I believe if you get 50 coins, I feel a bit bad now for not going back to those other coins. Because I believe once you get 50 coins in this game, you unlock a character. So uh, let's see if we can do that actually. So I'll try my best not to spend any money. Let's see what we can get out of it, hopefully. So we're like over halfway there now. You never know. Stupid flies. They seem to hover right. Uh, I seem to hover right over those rocks where I can't hit them. Okay, buddy. Thanks, Cuban Meat. You saved my hide once again. Good thing we made a mental note of that. Um, I'm not too sure what the Liberty Cap does as a weapon, so if you guys would love to let me know, I'd really appreciate it. Far away, he's a bit of a problem. And, oh, jeez, these bloody flies. Oh, the bane, the bane of my life. Come on, buddy. There you go. Give it a rest. Oh man, they're throwing spiders and flies at me. Okay. Well, the spiders aren't so much of a problem. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh, I think Liberty Cap gives me... Oh, it makes me random sizes. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I enjoyed that. Hey, look. Can I... See, look, I'm really small now. I guess that's what Liberty Cap does. So combined with um, my speed as well, I am a plucky foe. Awesome. Mm, pestilence. Always makes me think of pesto. That's a bit of an unfair move. Obviously, don't. Oh wow! Didn't know we could do that. That's cool. Oh man, I might not be long for this for this world. I'm a bit annoyed. Oh no! I hit the acid again. If he hears friends, that's over then screw. Okay, I've got to use all my cunning here. And I must be patient. Patience is a virtue on this one. Oh jeez, I didn't even notice I got hit there. Let's 
uh, it's not boding too well for me here. I'm relying on him to actually take out the competition here. Oh jeez, no 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 no, this is not going well. So once you get rid of there you go, it's force. When it becomes a little easier. Oh gosh. Oh man, I'm getting lucky. Me and you now, buddy. Oh no! Ah, oh, never mind, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in with me. Um, hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully we'll get our revenge on pestilence next time. Uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. Have a good one.